graphing ordered pairs. So ordered pairs is an X and a Y value. We put them in parentheses with a comma in between. And the first coordinate or X tells us how far to go left or right. If it's positive, we go to the right and negative, we go to the left. The second number or Y tells us how far to go up or down. If it's positive, we go up, negative, we go down. So for example, if we're asked to graph the ordered pair of negative two, negative three, well, the first number tells us how far to go left or right. It's the X. It's telling us on the X amount, starting at the origin zero, zero, how far do I move left or right? We're going two places. We just need to look at the sign to see which direction. Well, negative two means I would go left two places. And then negative three is the second part of the ordered pair. And it's telling us the Y amount. It's telling us how far do we go up or down. If it's positive, we go up. Negative, we go down. So from this point, we go down three. Notice how we made both moves before we made our point. We did our left or right move, and then we did our up or down move, and then we put on our point. So it's the address of where we're going, first number being left or right, second number being up or down. We make both moves and then put our point on the coordinate plane. And if your coordinate plane is labeled correctly with an X and a Y, we're looking at the first number, how far to move on the X left or right, and we're looking at the Y, how far to move up or down. Let's look at a new example. Let's say we have the ordered pair graph the point four comma negative four. Well, on our coordinate plane, we wanna graph that ordered pair. So if I started the origin, I started zero, zero, then that first number is telling me how far to move on the X, how far to move left or right, positive to the right, negative to the left. So positive four means I move right four. We're right four places. And the second part, negative four, from there I'm gonna go down four. Make both moves, put on my point, and that's my ordered pair at four, negative four. So when we're looking at the coordinate plane, we have what are called quadrants. We have the four different sections. One, two, three, four, the four different areas. So we like to use Roman numerals in math to, to label our quadrants. So our first quadrant is one, and then working in counterclockwise, we have quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four. So the ordered pairs in each of these quadrants have um, specific characteristics. So everything in quadrant one, the X is positive and the Y is positive. So you have a positive first number, positive second number. So every ordered pair up here, positive, positive. Then in quadrant two, we move left. So we have negative first, or negative X values, positive Y values. Quadrant three, we have negative, negative. We go left and down. So negative X value, negative Y value. And quadrant four is positive X and negative Y. So this kind of helps us know right away what part of the coordinate plane we would be graphing on if we have both positive numbers, we know we're going to be in pod quadrant one. If we have both negative numbers, we know we're going to be down in quadrant three. And the other two, we have to be a little bit more careful. So quadrant two, if we have a negative and a positive, and quadrant four, if we have a positive and a negative. So hopefully that helps you get an idea where your points should start. So let's see if you guys can put some of this together. So let's look at what some directions for a fun activity might look like. Let's say you have plot the ordered pairs of a number on the graph in the order they are listed, connecting them with line segments as you plot them. Start a new line after the words line ends. So what they're saying is, is plot your first point, plot your second point, and then make a line connecting those two points. Add your third point, connect it to the other point. So you wanna connect as you go, um, not at the end. So Start by plotting your first two points, connect those together, and then continue connecting them until you hit line ends. And once you go ahead and try to graph both of these lines, pause the video here, come back, we'll see how you did. All right, so we have a point at two, four, so that's right two, up four. Then we have the point negative five, one. Negative five, one starting at the origin, I go left five, up one. And then I'm going to make a line connecting these two points because I'm going to connect as I go. Then I'm going to add my next point at 2, 1. Then I'm going to connect as I go. 
And then we have 2, 4. Well, 2, 4 brings me back to where I started. So if I put a point on top of that, you're not really going to see it because it already has a point there. But I am going to go ahead and connect those because it gave me that point, meaning I'm connecting all the way back to where I started, and that's where my line ends. Now, the next one I have over here in green, I have 4, negative 2. So I'm going to go right 4, down 2, put my point. Then negative 3, negative 3, left 3, down 3. Connect my points as I go. 5, negative 5, right 5, down 5, and connect as I go. And it says line ends. So line ends just means I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to connect back to anything else or connect to another line or draw anything straight up or down. So mine just stops there. It looks like a little acute, um, an acute angle there. So the top one made a nice, pretty right triangle. But this green one, it just kind of ends and stops there. But it might be making an overall shape or picture that you'll see if you graph all your points correctly. So I hope that helps you guys figure out order pair. There are X comma Y. Remember, first number is left or right. Second number is up or down. Have a great day. O-U-T spells out.